Hey survivors, how's it going? Wanderer here, back with the brand new episode of Fallout 4 Frost, and we're just on the outside of the Beantown Brewery over here. Need to go over to the Western Wild Treatment Plant right over here. I'm gonna put a uh, marker over there. I guess I can run around this way. It's probably the fastest way to go here. So uh, off screen, I did get all my water sorted out. So I got lots of purified water and some dirty water as well. We'll find more over at the water treatment plant. So I've got the uh, the full outfit on right now. I'll probably end up having to take this back, drop it off, and go loot Western Water Treatment Plant uh, separately. But I wanted to be fully outfitted for going over there and clearing it out. So I'm in really good shape. I've got very little radiation damage, and of course I slept for the night. Um, of course the only problem is sleeping over there on those dirty mattresses does not give you a good night's sleep, so I am still tired. You do get some sleep from sleeping on a dirty mattress, like you won't wake up overtired, but you'll still wake up tired. As well, um, my second point, I've deviated quite a bit from what I normally go. Because I have such good high armor from my gear, I decided not to get rooted. And because the melee damage doesn't really matter, it's just uh, I have to get headshots on the ghouls or they're not, they're not going to die, period. So it doesn't really matter how much melee damage I'm doing extra here. All right, But yeah, I decided to go with uh, Scrounger instead because I figured um, I wanted to pick that up before I actually got inside here. Now, if there are no ghouls out here, I'm... Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to go inside. Then I'm not going to worry about... Can anybody out here... There's another 10 millimeter. Hope there's some ammo in that. Um, can I get in here? More 10 millimeter. Wow. A hunting rifle. Excellent. Let me get a save in real quick here. In the sleeping bag. That way I've got a save in case things go very, very badly in here. I'm going to go ahead and drop, drop off some of this stuff here. I don't need the hunting rifle. Um... I don't need this heavy 10 millimeter either. I don't even think I'll take that one with me when I do come back here and loot stuff. And, uh, yeah, put the oil can in there too. Okay. All we really need is the 10 millimeter for in here. Even a sword is probably overkill. I don't think we're running into any ghouls, but we might run into a couple of mute crabs. I'm not sure. So the goal to go in here is not to clear it of loot. It's just not to get loot on the first run. We're just going to go in here and kill everything. Just kill the turrets and stuff. Any, any mute crabs or anything. Any threats. And I'm going to come back here like basically naked. Not totally naked, but pretty much naked. And uh, take out everything else. So there's a turret over here. Remember that. Alright, there it is. So what I think I'm going to do is just like run out here and shoot it. Like I'm just... Trying to stealth out slowly and edge out and stuff, I don't know, it doesn't work out for me. I do better if I just, if I just go for it, man. Okay, well I took some damage there. But, um, three shots fired and I, I got a lot of ammo out of it, so... Flamethrower trap. Those aren't really worth all that much, although I guess I could sell them. Alright, so there's one up here too. It's funny all the shit you remember from the villain game. It's about as close as I can get. Oh, there's one too. Alright. An Indiana Jones this shit. Dun 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 dun! Oh god! No! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I don't think he can hit, hit me from here. Okay. Well, it's not great, but I'm not dead, and I'm operating on a big surplus of ammo, so that's good. Yes, yeah, so I'm not. I'm not here to actually get loot this time. I'll probably go back and uh, heal, sleep for the night and stuff, and then come back later and look for for more loot and stuff. Not even gonna look over here. Not gonna do it. We're just here for killing stuff. Hopefully not dying, which that prospect is not looking particularly good right now. I'm not sure why all these uh, mute crabs are dying. I wonder if it's like radiation or something else that's killing them. All right, so this this loops back, I believe. Just want to go through here real quick and make sure there's nothing else to kill. No turrets, nothing else, no. Oh, there's a yeah, uh, there's a mining helmet though. That 
That is good. Let's get rid of that and that. That seems oddly bright to me. Does it seem oddly bright to you? I'm going to take it off real quick and then re-equip it. Yeah, that's better. So I've noticed, like, the the iBot lantern and the other lantern stuff, they're, they're all kind of buggy. In that, um, if you... I don't know, like, if you uh, switch between them, or if you have multiple of them on, the game doesn't know, like, which effect to use, and sometimes it, like, mixes the effects up and stuff. I don't know, it's strange. It's very, very weird. Alright, so there's a... This we can get into back here, but um, I, I can't get there right now. There's a turret over here. I can hear it. Right there. I might be able to hit it from here, actually, without actually going around the corner. Yeah, that worked well. Two shots, seven rounds. Excellent. This one's going to be the hard one, though. If I can get to not like know exactly where I am, that'd be good. Okay, that's good. Alright, can't take any hits here. I'm actually going to back up because that that uh, depth of field is, is makes it difficult to see where the turret is. So let's see here. Right there it is, I can see it just barely through there. I think I'm lined up pretty well with it. Okay, there we go. Two shots, whole bunch more ammo. There's one out here too. Always surprises the hell out of me. Okay, we're good to go. Lots of ammo. Okay, let's hit this thing. There are two or three more. I can't go through here. I need a bobby pin. I'd need lock picking too, which I don't have, so. Okay, so we go around here. Now, this is a little bit dangerous because there are two over here that are going to open fire on me as soon as I. It's going to be rough. They're, uh. They're right over here, and they're not actually active, and you can't actually hit them until. A little bit later on. Can I pick these eggs up now? Without going overweight? No, I guess I can't. Actually, no, I'll just I'll use some booze. That'll work. There we go. Alright, so... Pray for me, guys. Just say a quick prayer for me. Hopefully this works out okay. Until they activate. Are they active now? Yeah, they're active. Oh my god, that level up just saved my life. That level- I got hit, but that level up just saved my ass, man. Wow. Wow, guys. That's- that's incredible. Is there one more over here? In this area, too? I think I hear one. Yep, there it is. Okay, it's just around the corner there. Alright. Alright. There we go. More wonderful ammo. All these eggs and stuff down here. I'll come back for these later on. I think that's actually all the threats in here. I think that's actually it. Now, of course, we have to go over here and get this last thing. If you know of a better way of doing this without actually getting in the water, let me know. But this is the way that I've done it in the past. I just walk up here and then just drop down. You take some rads, but it's better than, better than like, you know, taking a bunch. Um, but I, I've never been able to actually get in this window. I'll try jumping out of it. No, open that up. Oh, there's Mentats. Um, never been able to actually jump out of this or jump in it. Doesn't seem like yeah you you can't get through this. I don't think you can get through here either. No, it's actually a window. It's like I don't know how you could actually get in here without taking some rads. I don't think it's possible. 
But if you know of a way, let me know in the comments because that would be helpful in the future. It can be helpful for other people too because, you know, don't want to take any more rides than you have to. Alright, so there's eggs down here. I just want to get the, uh, the ammo on this thing. Make sure I've gotten that stuff. Look at all that 10 millimeter ammo we have. So good. So, so good. Alright, carrying too much. I'm going to dump the junk over here in this container. I, can, I, I cannot believe my luck, guys. That level up saved my butt. Like, I would have had to redo this stuff, which is not a huge deal. I was kind of resigned to the fact I'd probably have to redo this stuff because I was not in good shape, but... What's my carry weight at now? I want to carry back as much stuff as I possibly... No, don't drink the fucking water! Oh, it better not give me a goddamn infection. I just want the egg, dude. Just take, just take the egg. If I, if this shows up with an infection, I'm gonna be so pissed. Okay, I don't have one right now. It's, uh, you gotta be really careful, man, because it's really, it, it's like a stupid game mechanic thing. You, you end up almost getting infected because the water is right next to the eggs. There's still like puddles everywhere, and you can drink from them if you want to. But just, just trust me, you don't want to. You'll get an infection. You'll get sick. You'll be in a world of hurt. So be really careful when picking these up. Okay, I'm overweight now. Alright, we'll dump one egg over here. Actually, let's drink some water. There we go. Now I'm hydrated. Okay, so that's going to be it. That's all I can carry, but that's all the turrets in here. So I'm going to go back through here and clear stuff out. I may do that off screen because it'll be pretty boring and just be me running around and stuff, but uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll show like a highlights of it or something, but I won't show the whole thing. So yeah, we're gonna go back over to I guess Beantown Brewery. We'll make these eggs and drop off our armor. And then we'll come back um, later on. Now are there any any enemies? Oh god, it's Still a rad storm out here. I'm gonna have to actually run back and kind of wait out this rad storm, I think, because I don't want to be out here in this rad storm. I've done really good for like rads, rad management so far. I haven't taken a lot of rads. It's getting late. Maybe I should go. I'm gonna go. Oh no! I you stay over there, rad stag. You, I holy crap! You can run fast. I am not looking to fight you. I don't have the hunter perk. I can't get any meat off of you. I don't really care about you right now, and your experience is not worth it. I got a level up too, didn't I? I totally forgot about that. Uh, what are we going to put for this point? I could put in uh, either rooted or lock picking. My armor's actually pretty pretty good. I think I'll get lock picking. And hope I find a buy pin somewhere. I'd like to be able to unlock that advanced door back there because there is one more turret back there and some loot. And I could get that stuff, and then I'd have more loot and more ammo for the 10 millimeter pistol be great so what I'm thinking I might do now that I have a good amount of eggs and water and stuff is uh, I might actually go back to Beantown cook up my stuff and then I kind of want to go back to the Massachusetts Pike interchange and sleep there for the night because uh, it's they have nice beds there I'll get a, a good night's sleep and I, I run less risk of getting infected and stuff if I sleep over there so I kind of want to do that instead of sleeping here. I wish there was a nice bed here, but, you know, what can you expect? It's a damn brewery. Next day, I'm going to go through probably mostly off-screen and loot everything over at the Beantown Brewery. Not the, the brewery. The, uh... That's not close. Did you fall down, Rad Roach friend? Wish I could shoot him up there, man. Alright, anyway... No, I can't use this. This is so annoying. This really, really is annoying, man. I need to get a, a bobby pin so I can kill this stupid idiot. Stupid rad roach. Okay, so... Let's make some... Mirelurk egg omelets, or... Mutt crab egg omelets, as they should be called. Do you say they restore hit points? That's gotta be wrong, right? That has to be incorrect. Okay, so I don't have any other mods installed, guys. It's just like Frost and Pilgrim, and Frost is the lowest one. I don't have anything that would affect this, but it says that it restores hit points. I'm not sure what's up with that. But anyway, um, I think I will go ahead and drop off my armor here because I shouldn't need it. 
Uh, except for maybe just stuff that gives me carry weight. I'll keep my fatigues on just so I'm not, you know, naked. Um, I might sleep for one hour here just to get the Radstorm going, hopefully. At least that's what I hope happens. And, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna run... I'm gonna sleep for an hour. What if I go back here? There we go. Sleep for one hour. Hopefully that gets rid of the Radstorm. What? My torso's been crippled. No, it hasn't. What what illness did I get? Parasites. Uh, it's not the worst one in the world to have, but <clears throat> it's going to make those omelets go really fast, which is a bitch. Man. Not kind of wish I hadn't done that. Hopefully the Radstorm is gone, at least. you got to be kidding me, man. Whatever, I've got plenty of booze. I'm just gonna run over there. I think the quickest way is to go down here and then go over here. Even though it's a little bit dangerous to go that way. Alright guys, so there's a couple of ghouls over here. And I thought, you know... Let me just go ahead and kill these guys. That went pretty well. But yeah, I was down here by the train station. Thought, you know, go ahead and kill these guys. Take them out. That way they're dealt with. Okay, that is a guard gutsy. And I cannot deal with him. I don't want to aggro him. I will not be able to kill him. He's way too tough. Whoa, this looks... Pretty awesome. That lighting effect, yeah. When you don't have the the passive lighting in here, that looks pretty cool. Although it doesn't make sense because it's not daytime. So the story in here, if you've never seen it, is uh, a mother out of bobby pins and her child were in here hiding from the ghouls out there. It's a vanilla story. TV dinner train, a blue suit, no good. I guess aluminum's okay, but there's there are the aluminum cans are the best way to get aluminum. They weigh like nothing, and they give you a lot of aluminum for how much they weigh. I don't see her book anywhere here, or her hollow tape. There is normally a hollow tape here though, but it might have been removed. I don't know. Anyway, um. Her and her child came in here to hide from the ghouls, but the ghouls found their way in. And, uh, yeah, things went badly from there. Slowly walk away from this guy, because I don't want to aggro him. It's pretty much a death sentence if I get in his aggro range. There he is. Yeah, I'm not messing with him, man. Way too powerful for me right now. Alright, so night's coming on pretty soon. I gotta get over to my bed back at the Mass Pike Interchange and sleep for the night. Now, I don't think there'll be anything else on the way here. It's just really scary outside. Oh, there's there's that guy down here still. I gotta be careful of that guy. Or that lady. Is that, uh... Is that the person with the power armor? It doesn't look like they're in power armor anymore. No, not in power armor now. Where are they? Are they over here? They're around this corner, aren't they? Yep, there they are. Okay. Hey, hey yourself. 
how you do a sneak attack, man. Without stealth. Without that. There's still someone around here, though. My undetected thing is, uh... It's going off, so... I'm gonna bet it's that, uh... That power armor guy. Power armor girl, I guess it would be. I thought I killed that survivor already, but... I don't know, I don't see anybody. Just making sure nobody's come back over here. Doesn't look like it. I think we're okay. Alright, I'm gonna get some sleep. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, okay. Well... Oh man. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting to see here. What the hell is with this, man? Can I, uh... Okay, there. <laughs> that works. That's one way of getting it out of there. Um, okay, let's get out of here. That's actually really lucky that this thing is here. She, like... She, like... <laughs> got out of her power armor, drug it on top of the bed. So this is the woman that was in the power armor that we were trying to fight earlier. So you can see she had a torch on her. It's like... So not worth it to fight her. Torch and a skull bandana. While she's in the power armor, so not worth it to fight her. This is much better. This way I get uh, free power armor if I want to use it. I'm just going to dump her body over the side here if I can. This way, lady. You're going over. Okay, she made it down. Good. Alright, so that's the last remaining survivor. Last two remaining survivors, I think, in this area. I guess I didn't loot this stuff, did I? But in any case, um, maybe it respawned because she came back. I don't know. In any case, we're going to get some sleep. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock, so yeah, get some sleep, and we're going to head back to the water treatment plant, or I'm going to head back there off-screen and loot the place off-screen, probably. So I'll see you after that's done. All right, guys, brand new morning. Oh, God, that's just a cow. It's just a cow. Brand new morning. Uh, I've got most of my armor stripped off, except for the stuff that boosts carry weight. And, uh, yeah, just walk, running back up to the water treatment plant. Gonna loot everything I can. That's a ghoul. I can probably kill him. Go ahead and take him out. Nice amount of experience there. Got poisoned, but that's okay. I haven't gone through here, have I? Most of the stuff I probably don't want. But, like, the bottles, the cloth, the antiseptic. Shit, that's a bomb. Okay. Well, would have been nice to disarm it for the experience, but whatever. Didn't take any damage, that's fine. Right there is the tripwire. Ugh. Antiseptic and bandage. Would have been nice if there was some antibiotics in there. Parasite's not the worst thing in the world, but uh, I am going to go through my omelets really fast with that. Normally I wouldn't even cure parasites, I just wouldn't care about it because I have so much extra food, but I don't really have, I don't really have that much food right now. So it is kind of concerning. Just wanted to share with you guys this ambient music from an, the uh, Pilgrim mod while I'm over here looting stuff. And the, the passive like wind noise in the background. It just adds so much to Frost. It really does. It's this perfect mix between, like, discovery and, um, like, desperation and horror movie, like, scared type music. It just, it just works perfectly. If you haven't downloaded this and tried it out yourself, you definitely should. 
So, okay, I'm just gonna go here through here and loot stuff. And uh, an assault rifle laying here randomly. Okay. How good is it? It's terrible. It's really, really bad. Well, at least, I mean, the uh, the receiver's terrible. I need an advanced receiver on it to make it good. But I have, I do think I'll have some 5 to 6 ammo back at the base, so that's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. Well, guys, you missed uh, probably the best jump scare, jump out of my seat, crap my pants moment that I've had so far in this playthrough. So when I was walking in here, I noticed that when I uh, went down here, there was like when I was looking at this this meat bag, it said feral ghoul down here, and I was confused. Like, well, I don't see any feral ghoul. There's nothing here at all. So I went in here, I got some stuff, and now I don't have any carry weight left, so I'm, I was going back, so I came, came back out here. And when I walked out, the first thing I saw was this. And it just, those, those glowing eyes and stuff, I thought it was alive, and like, I jumped so bad. I, it scared the crap out of me, but this happens sometimes. That's, that's disturbing, isn't it? Yeah, this happens sometimes with Frost. I don't know why it is, but sometimes... I don't know. Sometimes it's just random too. I don't. I don't know if it's just dying that triggers it or what. But yeah, it happens. There's another one. These guys were not here before. I wish they were because I'd kill them for experience. All right, guys. Epic battle is about to commence between dog and man. This dog is so fucked he doesn't even know it. Oh, that was a very bad time. For that to wear off, that was a really bad time for that to wear off. Right in the middle of my charge. Thanks a lot, Gwinnett Stout, or whatever I was drinking. Oh, and now I'm addicted. I see how it is. Well, that was kind of inevitable, wasn't it? It's gonna happen. Not too worried about it. Speaking of which, what is my sanity? Um, 88. That's not great. I'll have to start. Have to be chugging some alcohol. All right, guys. So, so I was walking back down here. I was planning to go. Actually, what was I planning to do? I'm a moron. I should have gone up and around this way. I'm not sure why I went down south. I was thinking I would, I need to go to Mass Pick Interchange, but I don't need to go there. I need to go over here. Anyway, uh, as I was walking down here for unknown reasons, because I'm a moron. I walked down here and saw this cave, and I think this is the cave with the alien in it, but I'm not sure, but I kind of want to investigate. I, I do hear stuff moving. It's a rat. It's a dirty rat. There's also a bunch of uh, glowing fungus and stuff in here. Alright. Just one. Or two. It's fine. I'm okay with that. Pretty easy to take out, to be honest. I do need this fungus, though, pretty badly, to make more uh, ghetto right away. Make more fungal purge. This is definitely the cave where you find the alien, though. Obviously, there's no alien in here, though. Rather scary in here without the light on. Much less ambient light with that ELFX mod. Again, don't know why I came down this way, because I'm a moron. That's why, but I did, so anyway. All right, guys, been a long, hard day of looting, but I am finally done clearing out the Western Water Treatment Plant. Got all the junk I want from there. Left behind surprisingly little. Uh, there, I mean, there's some stuff I left behind, but... I did take the vast majority of the stuff just because it's all useful for crafting. So I'm now en route to get back home. Oh, here's the, uh, here's this guy. I wonder if I can cook anything. Actually, you know what? Oh, hold on. Yeah, I can cook up some of these omelets. Go ahead and cook them. Got the rest of my omelets. There weren't a whole bunch more, but need more dirty water, huh? I got some bottles, I think. 
Maybe not. Maybe I don't have any. Okay, I don't have any bottles there. That's fine. We'll carry him back. So, um, I'm en route back to the Mass Pike Interchange, and I'm going to spend a night there, get a good night's rest, and then we'll proceed over to our base uh, over at Beantown Brewery in the morning, run back over there, and uh, from there we'll strike out into Boston, start our, our real journey. So that's going to be kind of gotten ourselves uh, established here, and it's got a lot of... 10 millimeter rounds. I've got, I think, almost 100 10 millimeter rounds right now. So that's really good. Um, I did pick up another level, I think, just from crafting stuff. Got some lucky proxy at Savant. Um, so, so far, I've gotten Scrounger, Locksmith, Eight Savant, of course, and. Oh, I have one point to choose yet. Okay, that's right. I was thinking about that. Uh, I was kind of debating between Wanderer and uh, Rooted. I think I'll go with Wanderer for now. I am going to be doing a no settlement playthrough, guys. I, I know some of you wanted me to do settlements, but I just don't think they're worth it in Frost. I really don't. Um, you can level up to insane levels in Frost if you take the Wanderer perk, if you forego having a uh, an actual base. So there's my fungal purge worn off. I did take a bandage as well. I've, I'd, I crafted two fungal purges from those uh, glowing fungus that I had found. Oh, just our cow. Just our cow, friends. Just our cattle over here. You build a fence and keep them in. But yeah, I had uh, I had crafted those fungal purges. I, I have been taking them throughout the day and uh, using bandages to heal up afterwards, of course. So now all of my rads are gone. And I'm in, like, pretty much perfect shape. Like, there's nothing I can think of that would really make things better at this point. Everything's pretty good. So, <laughs> at least for now, right? Doesn't often stay that way in Frost, right? But, uh, at least for now, I'm in really good shape. So here is our power armor. I'll probably walk over in the power armor. I'll probably grab everything that's here and then walk over in power armor in the morning. What the hell? Okay, so, interestingly, guys... Very interestingly, I've come back here several times, and, like, there's different stuff in here, like, every single time. That's kind of weird, right? I don't know what's up with that exactly, but I'm not going to complain. I mean, it's, hey, you know. I actually don't think I'll take this missile launcher with me. Uh, it's it's here if I want it. Actually, hold on. I know where I'll put it. I'll put it in the uh, weapons workbench over here. I can't carry it, can I? Actually, here, here we go. This will work just fine. I want that combat shotgun, though. I've got more shells back at the base, and it does 100 damage. That's, uh, that's pretty amazing. What What's the receiver on that? Is it just a basic receiver? It's a lot of damage for a basic receiver. Yeah, it's just standard. But it's got a long, ported, and shielded barrel. It's a very good barrel with a drum magazine. That's quite good. Yeah, I'll hold on to that for sure. All right, going to get some sleep, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, it's a rad storm. Yay! Can you, sa can you like, see how excited I am from the sound of my voice? How thrilled I am to be having a rad storm? That's just wonderful. I like, I woke up. This is, this is like black rain, isn't it? This is black rain. Oh, man. And look, these respawn too. And the ammo in here respawn. That's kind of a bug. That's a bug, guys. You know what, though? I don't, I don't care. I'm going to take it, because I'm going to take all I can get, because this game is really hard, so... Alright, um, well, that blows really badly. But, um, you know, there's not much I can do about it. Oh, this, I don't have a fusion core for this, do I? Crap. Crap. Yeah. Let's exit the fusion core. Or exit the power armor. All right, so we gotta we gotta grab our stuff from over here. Anything spare that we want, we gotta grab it from here now. Let's let's see here. Come on, transfer. Thank you. So any there's not much, as you can see, there's not much. Fusion core, which weighs ten freaking pounds. So it says you're carrying too much. You cannot run. No, we're good. We're good, man. We good. One hundred six of one ten. That's good. All right, so we're gonna go over to uh, Beantown Brewery and dump off stuff. I really was not expecting to have this problem this morning where, you know, we uh, had issues with the weather. 
so I wasn't expecting that, and now I guess we kind of have to deal with that. So let's just jump off of here. You know, I haven't really explored these this area, the highway here around this area, but I'm not going to do it today because it's, it's all crappy out. Definitely not doing it today. I don't plan on using this power armor, really. I, like, I have no idea what I'll use it for. Maybe I'll take it with me to Diamond City, but that's going to be about it. I don't plan on using it extensively, though, but I kind of figured, you know, I'd rather have it and not need it than uh, need it and not have it. So I'm going to walk it up to Beantown. Maybe I won't walk it all the way to Beantown. Maybe just, like, halfway there. I'm going to just drop it off on, like, the train tracks on the way to Diamond City, and then I can get back in it later on. This is the black rain, guys, if you've never seen it. This is what the black rain looks like, the black sky. The rain itself is not actually black, but, I mean, it's it's implied this black because of the clouds and everything. Guess I left some stuff here. I had it respawned. I'm not sure. I don't suppose there's a... That's too much, isn't it? I don't have any buff out, do I? I have buff tats. Why not? I could probably take out that guard gutsy with his power armor on. I think I should. I think I should try. See what he's, he's guarding over there. If he's still even over there, he might be gone. It seems like the random stuff spawns over here under this bridge. It's either a guard gutsy or mines or something else. It's like a random event place. I guess I'll walk over here and see what's there. I'm not running, by the way, because uh, I want to I want to conserve my power armor. That's strange that there's like light god rays shining through. I don't see anything over here at all. Note and a carrot and a pistol and... okay. What's this note say? Billy, I've got the 10 millimeter. Now we just have to figure out a way to sell it without anyone getting wise to what we're up to. I've stashed it in Federal Ration Stockpile. I'll meet you there tonight, Sue. P.S. Make sure you're not followed. Think John is starting to get suspicious. Okay. That's one of those random quest you can get. Is there a mine over here? A T-45 left leg. Just a random T-45 leg in the fire there. Okay, game, if you say so. I think the rad storm is cleared up, or at least the, uh, the black rainstorm is cleared up. We're just having regular rain out here. Maybe we just, like, walked out of it. Yeah, it looks like it's all cleared up. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, next time, we're going to be heading over to the Diamond City area, around it anyway, and clearing out the U.S. Army remnants over there and getting a whole bunch of weapons and armor, hopefully. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.